That's reduces all enemies ultra by eight. Dull power would prevent them from using the petrify move, wouldn't it? Their big one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, randomly destroys what? One summoned unit on the field. That's oh, super that's, risky, oh, though. Oh, but that's your own summoned units, too. Nope. Oh, what's the grace of Nixie? Oh. Yeah, it's better. Attack for all allies? Of course. Yeah. I think I originally discounted it because it was such a low value, but now that we're further, it's better. Yeah, the problem is I really want to get to that treasure chest. What I need to do, I think, is lure out the left side first. Mm -hmm. Take them out. Because... Uriel doesn't move. At least hasn't moved yet. That's the other reason why it's kind of hard to film this series is that... If you fail, then you have to start it all over again. And the battles are not short. That was interesting. Like they're flying over a pit over there? Sort of like some dirt. I don't think there's any pits. Mm -hmm. Are you talking the firebirds on the right? No, 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 no. It just looks like there's a indentation that it goes down a couple blocks at the very bottom. The other problem is the bigger the battle, the more champion units there are. Mm-hmm. You have to get all three of them. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get all three of them, and that takes a while. They come after me instead of just hanging out there? Mm -hmm. There we go. Because yeah, ideally, I'd like to take care of the trash mobs. Mm -hmm. But they could always summon more, can't they? Very, very rarely. Mm -hmm. And very slowly. Oh, wow. That did it. Yeah, their trash mobs are not actually that strong. But yeah, the other thing is the Gorgons have... Heavy petrification, so I can't be. I can't. Uh, I can't spread out too much, because I'm gonna need to buff all of my characters every time it happens. Mm -hmm. Let's see, who does not have a rage enchant? She does not. Come for me, please. I am here. I am. Vulnerable, fight me. Please I think they're gonna buff that. each other unless you approach them. Please stop doing that. Huh? I'm I'm just You're you're talking to the Yeah, I'm talking to the game. I'm not talking yeah. to you. purples and greens in this stage. Let's see. Bad mushrooms are there. You really have to take a long way around here. Mm -hmm. Are they going to start coming? Or are they just? And you have to keep... avoid those mushrooms too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what I'm hoping is they'll get caught up in the mushrooms eventually, and then just get wrecked on the way in. But it's well, uh. There go the mushrooms. Isn't there one pot next to you? Nope. Now nah, trick the eye. Go? Oh, yeah, you, you didn't sit on the spot. 
Oh, now she's going after that phoenix. Yep. And they hurt. Like, they have twice as much attack damage as... Oh, no, oh. that one has twice as much attack damage She's as... coming over. Yeah, this is exactly what happened last time. The main problem is I effectively am going to have to get through her quick. Mm -hmm. But, like, I barely do damage. Ouch. Really? Watch this be one of those terrible fights where you have to get close to losing and then the earmuffs fly off and she obliterates them all. I just don't like scripted losses. I don't think this game does that. Mm -hmm. And this fight seems too winnable for that to happen. Mm -hmm. Like, it's rare for me to play a game that has a scripted loss where the fight was easy. But it hasn't been easy. You got killed last time. I Okay. You're right. It's more that the, the fight was manageably beatable. But yeah, she's just got so much HP. You need to get, you need to get her in there, so that she can use her electric power against her. Because and it's arcane. not even going to do a whole lot of damage. Oh, Aww. I was next to the mushroom. Oh, she's but, fled. Well, okay. Okay. Good news. We get the HP buff. Mm -hmm. Which helps offset this. Oh, wow. But yeah, so I'm, I'm going to point at some things just to show why I'm having so much trouble. Mm -hmm. Look at my Mimic doll. Yeah. HP is decent. Attack is 40. Defense is 30. Attack and defense are three times my own. There's a very distinct reason why I cannot damage these things, and it is actually becoming a problem. And I'm not really sure how to deal with it. Well, this is the Earth one, right? Yeah. Is it an issue of level, too? No, same level. Hmm. I don't know if it would have been easier if you approached any other way, because if, as soon as you attacked one organ, another was probably going to emerge, or yeah. at least the one in the middle would come over. And so this is why I brought all the attack boosting perks along, because I figured... You need her to... Oh, no, I suppose you don't need electricity against the Earth one. It would work against the Carrion Crow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It would take it out. Oh... I'll delay her for a second. Yep. Can I hit the carrying crow? Gotta be able to hit it from here. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
so you're not trying to focus all your efforts on the organs. I mean, getting rid of the shaman is probably a good idea. Yeah. Super root. Wait. What? Oh, that's shitty. So they oh. have an AOE hit. So she jumped down and also froze. Yeah, every the time they hit her. me, I'm pe petrified. Oh. And they do a lot of melee chain attacks. So yeah, Peony is down and is going to start taking a lot of damage. I just... I know easy mode is looked down upon. But we have is... hit the point where I'm not having fun anymore. And I don't know if you can go to another part of the game. To... No, this is the only mission I can do. This is the only mission you and can do. And because of the way this game works grind-wise, I don't have a choice. And I don't do damage. I'm not oh, going to win. Oh, Peony is oh, about to go kill. down. I can't reach her. And she's just going to go down repeatedly again. I... I'm sorry. I don't... I can do this eventually mm -hmm. somehow but with the way it's structured currently i'm going to spend like 2 hours on on um, yeah is there this fight and i suppose there are no new tactics you could think of i i'm sure i could switch it around i the real trick would be leaving uh, Claudia out bringing the dog along just so he can take Defend. the hits, yeah. bring somebody else to heal. Like, it could work and it probably would work well. I just, I don't want to have to rely on him just so I can tank hits because that is it. I feel like I'm being pigeonholed into multi, uh, into specific meta strategies of like. Isn't that the point of having a party though? That you change up your party structure. but it's not no? because i'm trying to change it up i'm trying to not use chico because chico is the generic choice if that makes sense that but if he's appropriate for this battle but he's appropriate for all battles uh, that's the thing oh well, the thing is you always have to use peony so yeah so i'm stuck with peony no matter what and you're pretty much stuck with Chico because he's the only way that you can tank through hits like that. Because uh, if Chico protects everybody and is just petrified, like, who cares? He'll just keep tanking anyway, I think. Uh, Probably not while petrified. Who knows? I don't know if it breaks petrifi if petrification breaks his guard uh, or not. And so, like, I can I can try it, but we've already been here for 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. And... I know this is kind of like a, a plot mission. All of the missions have been. But... And it's not even that I hate losing. It's just that... It, it's a lot of wasting time. I hate time. losing time. To fight the same battle again and again. And so maybe if I went the other direction and went after the f fire lightning one first... Fire things lightning? would be different. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Because you never went off to the right. You yeah, because I wanted to, to go left first because... Um, the arcane. Yeah, that, she was arcane. I figured I could, you know, wipe those birds out quick because they're easy to kill. And the problem is then you just get sandwiched. And one thing I noticed is all of the enemies had a uh, the debuff for haunted, mm -hmm. which would make them take damage and do an AoE around them. And it wouldn't do damage to them. They take maybe thirteen and then heal it all back immediately because that was their their class feature. And it's just the statistical disadvantage that I'm currently suffering from is demoralizing mm -hmm. because I can get through it, but I don't feel like I'm being clever anymore. And at this point, it feels like a not... slog. Well. We could try playing it again and again, but who's to say how many failures you're going to experience? Yeah, how many failures I'm going to rack up before I eventually get it? Are you trying? 
The I don't right really want to, because like this episode's already gone on for forty something minutes. We might as well try, just to see if there's another outcome. I think those. Obviously, the mushrooms are an issue, but if you can get some water, I'm gonna go. On those... I'm gonna go up to the right this time. Yeah. The other reason why I was going to the left is I wanted that treasure chest. I hate those treasure chests. Because they want you to take the hazardous route. Yeah, but like the hazards weren't that big of a di an issue. Yeah, for some reason, Medusa has twice the defense and oh. twice the attack. Oh, wait. So, yeah, there might be a statistical difference between each of the Gorgons as well. Yeah, so Medusa looks to be the toughest out of all of them. Mm. So, maybe go for the weaker ones first and make sure that they can't aid her later. Mm -hmm. But, I, you know how we've been having kind of this conversation about... Difficulty well, in games? Well, difficulty, or? yes, but uh, leveling systems. Yeah. How leveling systems are often just kind of boring. Mm -hmm. I've noticed with this game, the, there is a leveling system, but it doesn't matter. Because All of my enemies, enemies are always the same level as me, which I appreciate, but it means I can't overgrind at all, mm -hmm. I don't think. That the leveling systems can be a nice crutch, that if you're having trouble, you just go grind for a while, you come back stronger. And I, maybe I could do that anyway, just get some more talent points and so on and so forth. But if, if all of scale up, yeah. if all of my enemies just scale up to that point, who's What's to the say they? Of having levels? Yeah, and who's to say they won't get more ridiculous? Good. Yeah, she's very good against fire. Oh, uh, it's a little HP, but she... That's okay. Yeah, I set that up on purpose. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you already took down her two minions. And you're approaching her. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a lot easier not having to go around the mushrooms, so... It's it's very possible that I can win this. I just... It truly is very frustrating for me. Losing all the time. Mm -hmm. Because I've got a billion things on my plate that I want to be working on. And if there's a series that starts turning into a slog, it just... That's usually when we stop playing them. Yeah. And it's a very consistent reminder of like, hey, by the way, you know, all this time you're wasting redoing this battle over and over again, you could have... I, I, I quite literally could have made like a substantial number of D&D &D assets. You uh, could have probably gotten a couple illustrations done or a... Um... A recorded or recorded two episodes of another series. Yeah. That one's always a bit of a kicker. And once again, other things that are time wasters too would be... I, I think even action combat versus turn-based combat. Turn-based combat being as it is, is slightly slower. Wow. Damn it. What, evasion? Yeah, all the enemies have stupid evasion. What is my evasion? Eh, my evasion is pretty high. Too bad you have a debuff for it. Her evasion is 73%. Oh, uh, well, she is the yeah, electric one. She's got agility and haste. I just... I won't lie. A lot of these things are just like getting my goat with this game at this point, and it's like I just want to be done. Because the other the other thing that's getting to me is nothing has really changed about my strategy since we started this. Just find out what the elemental weaknesses would be and push them. The the character customization is those three meters, and then the equipment and the scroll, and that's it. And one thing I really dug about uh, Final Fantasy Tactics was that you were constantly unlocking new classes and abilities and finding new combinations 
that worked within them, and that worked really well. And so I think some part of me really wishes that this had a, a deeper form of that. She's moved one space, but... Yeah, they're not coming for me like last time. Mm-hmm. If I really wanted it to be cheesy, we could waste a lot of time just sitting around and having her do Mother's Kiss a bunch. <laughs> but my enemies might overscale. Well, they're just buffing themselves, right? Yeah, and they might also have permanent buffs. Oh, she's building up some of her purple points. You might want to use that card at some point to... Next round. Yep. Bring it down. Why do we only do 23 damage to her? I mean, I guess you're supposed to use crits, but it's still gross. Okay, those guys are coming. But if you have the fire creatures, take them on. Wait, hold up. What? Hmm? What? What's wrong? I have a fire creature. Yeah. Ah. I shall. Extra defense converts crit damage into normal damage. Ah. Uh, that's frustrating. Oh, wow. That did a lot of damage. Make sure she gets those. Yeah, she can't have her purple power. Mm -hmm. Purple power. I don't think she can do it yet. I thought she was only a couple ticks away. Yeah, she'll be ready to charge it. But since I act first this round. Oh, yep, she's starting to encroach. I think it's, but at least you almost have this one down. You can't let her get away. Actually, ah! Though, she has range attacks, right? Evade? Wait, she can evade spells? What kind of dirty business is that? Wow. No, unless it's because it's a creature that makes an attack against her to inflict the spell. I just... Either way, she's so close to death. That's some shit. Yeah. Aw. Is there anyone that can hit her? Arawantis might. Uh It's gonna it's gonna be terrible if you hit her every single round with four people and only one can hit. Do we have an attack or any cards like Swift that ensure that Boxel never do 21 damage. Great. I At least that one's defenses are almost down. I'm not going to lie. I kind of yeah. hate this. Ah, uh, she she's down. Yeah. Had to hit her from behind. Mm -hmm. But it's just like... At least you got a, one of the Gorgons down. Yeah, and nobody's going to be able to revive her. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, no, they can probably use a spell to revive her. Oh, here comes Starfall. Oh, wait, why did Starfall not do any... Well... Well, a lot of your characters evaded. Okay. Just mm. what? 
I hate evasion. Evasion's great when you're the one evading, obviously, but... Yeah, but enemies evading with such a high mm -hmm. consistency is just not fun. That's only one execute. You just want to make sure that she can't be yeah. revived. Yeah, but you know what? Taking out that pangolin. Taking out the pangolin would be nice, but making sure one of the three sisters cannot get up is mm -hmm. far more important. Yeah. What is that? Ow. Oh no, we don't want to lose Peony. It's ah. okay, we're fine. She's moving? Much. I think but. they're mobilizing. All right, time to pick up Peony. Will that pick up Peony? Yup. And this is part of the other reason why I want to have Claudia around. Mm -hmm. Ideally, Claudia and Chico. Much of my frustrations, mm -hmm. because. Uh, oh, nice. Claudia increases our maximum HP, and Chico does uh, max damage, both of which are super useful. Ugh, this isn't worth it. Oh, that ain't worth it either. What a waste. <laughs> that ensures she's gone. I know, but, like, wasting my ult on that... Mm -hmm. Destroy that penguin. You know I love penguins, so cute. Okay, now it's time to take her out. She has 510 shields! Uh. Why? Okay, that's not so bad, but like, come on. I, if the boss monsters are gonna be this tough, give me the, like, even playing fields. Is this why... even considered a boss monster? I thought that this was just one of the three swords. Uh, was it? I mean, it's not like a big boss, but you know, they're they're the non-summon version. Therefore, of course, they're tougher. Mm -hmm. Like I get it, but like, holy shit, I'm so crappy in comparison to these things. I mean, they are named characters. Yeah. Well, you're gonna get her shields down. Yep. Now it's only a matter of time. Oh, she's fleeing now. Um, What's wrong? Big issue is because they're coming. I need to get that chest. You need someone to sneak around them. Yeah. Ah, but she just summoned another. She has an army of four now. Uh-huh. Which, like, isn't so bad, but I just kind of want that chest. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to get to it. Wicked Eye. So she froze two at once? Mm -hmm. Oh, why didn't we use the... 
um, anti-purple ability card? Uh, because it was on cooldown. Mm -hmm. Oh, that actually popped her up too. Yep, and gets me stupid HP. Great. Sending that one Phoenix off on reconnaissance. Yeah. Pretty much. If I just surround her, can't get in there somehow and pick her up. I hope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm just gonna have the Phoenix take this straight path and just mend wounds a bunch. Should do the trick. I also have tons of HP. Oh, she's trying to take your down ability down. Hmm. That's okay. Oh, wow. She can move. And she froze two in a, lo a row? Mm -hmm. Ouch. Um. Nice. Yep. Okay, one more hit on the second Medusa, or well, Dorgan, and she'll be down. Peony does have what they're weak to. Yeah, unfortunately... I don't think Peony is going to be able to do enough damage. Yeah. Peony is kind of bad right now. Mm -hmm. Mainly it's just Medusa's stats are unacceptably high. <laughs> That's a good thing that we took out her two sisters. Yeah, first. and I've also got so much HP that she's not going to be able to just beat me through it anymore. I just... I'm still feeling that exhaustion of just... What? Yep. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought she summoned one of the... <laughs> one of the other sisters no, back. No, 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 no. Oh, wouldn't that be some shit? No, 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 no. She just teleported herself up there. So you aren't having someone fly over to the chest? I thought one of the phoenix was going to do that. I am behind it. Yeah. Yeah, this phoenix. Mm -hmm. There you go. Nice. See, now you have them on the run. Kinda. I mean, really, you're just going to surround her with creatures. And then and I'm going hitting. to plink her down, and she is going to snipe me back with return shots. Starfall. Mm mm. Some evaded that. Stats are just miserable. My whole team's stats are just sad. Nah, I can't even shoot from the high ground. Mm -hmm. Does shooting from the high ground afford you an advantage? Yeah, hell of a lot of damage. Oh. Should probably not surround her too much. Well, 
all her shielding is getting close to being depleted. Oh, did it get hit? That's okay. It has a solid cell feel. Oh. Summon another. Oh, really? And fled. It's okay. Now I have 700 HP. Ooh, wow. Yeah. It's one of those where it's like, I do scale enough. What I can you get? beat these if I wait long enough. What did you get? Uh, or you won't know until... Acid Rain Talisman. Huh. Acid Rain. Oof. I used to be in a uh, guild called Acid Rain. Really? In yeah. what game? World of Warcraft. Really? Yeah, it was, it was rain as in like Reign of Kings, but still. Oh, Acid Rain. Yep. But yeah, it was like a, a casual guild. Didn't really do much for raiding, but it was nice. And then I eventually kind of left because I didn't have much of a connection to it anymore because the guy that recruited me had quit. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, my good eye again. Yep. Oh, did she end up freezing almost everyone? What is going on? Well, my whole party's petrified now. Oh! Except for the salamander. And the phoenix. Well, she'll be able to get everyone up again mm -hmm. if she uses her ability. Bloop. Take that, Medusa. I guess that's not that helpful. Yeah, it, is, it just doesn't seem to be because your health is a lot larger than it used to be. Yeah. So the card seems less effective. Ooh, nice. There we go. Woohoo! That took an hour. Ah! Well. It was all about going to the right rather than the left. Uh, Enough of this. You will answer our questions now. I will answer nothing, murderer. You three attacked us first. Your sister's death is your fault. I wonder if this is how it would always have ended. If they scripted it that Medusa would always be the last one to fall, or is... Or uh, because we actually killed them, killed them. I don't know. Hmm. Either kill me now or be gone from here. If that is what you wish. Oro! This isn't what we came here for. Let's just go. She knows where Izusa is. Even if she does, she won't tell us now. This was the only lead we had to find Azusa and the Basilisk Emerald. What do you suppose we do now? I dunno. Uh, maybe we go to Grunhold and find out what they know? They probably have scouts gathering information in the region. Hmm. Fine. Let us go. Wait, we battled them? For nothing. For... Literally nothing. Absolute waste of time. <laughs> You're just gonna save there? I just... I don't want to right now. <laughs> <laughs>